In this lecture, we'll provide a brief introduction to digital images. We'll discuss false color images that encode physical information about a scene by using color, and we'll discuss true color images that attempt to reproduce the perceptual coloring of a scene. Well, here's a digital image that was acquired by the National Geophysical Data Center. The purpose of this image is to show the average elevation of Earth's surface as a function of latitudinal and longitudinal position. The elevation data encoded in this image have a spatial resolution of 1 degree latitude and 1 degree longitude. Accordingly, there are 180 rows in this image, one for each degree of latitude, and 360 columns, one for each degree of longitude. The average elevation for a particular region that spans 1 degree latitude and 1 degree longitude is encoded by a color, and the mapping from color to elevation is illustrated with the help of this color bar. Color bars are essential for making quantitative inferences from false color images like this one. For this image, elevations from roughly 7,000 meters below sea level to 6,000 meters above sea level are encoded into 64 different colors. The lightest colors, those that are nearly white, signify the highest elevations. The brightest region in this image, for instance, is the Himalayan mountains. The darkest colors, those that are nearly black, signify the lowest elevations. The Mariana Trench, for instance, shows a very dark line in the Pacific Ocean. This color map was designed to have an abrupt color change at the sea level transition. This makes it easy to see the outline of the coast. Another color map like this that doesn't have an abrupt change at sea level makes it a little more difficult to identify the coastal boundaries. Picking a good color map is important for false color images. To display the elevation data for 180 rows of latitude and 360 columns of longitude, we need 360 times 180 or 64,800 picture elements. In a digital image, each of these picture elements is called a pixel. 64,800 pixels is a very small image by today's standards, and the pixelization of this image is apparent even without zooming in for a closer look. But if we do zoom into this image, the pixels become even more apparent. The image viewing tool I'm using allows me to display the location and the value of any pixel. Just off of the coast of Africa, for instance, is the location of 0 degrees longitude and 0 degrees latitude. Here the average depth of the ocean floor is roughly 4,835 meters below sea level. If we move on to land, we see that the average elevation shifts up to about 571 meters above sea level. Now let's take a look at a true color image. This digital image of a mayfly floating on a river contains 1,389 columns and 926 rows. The total number of pixels then is 1,389 times 926 or about 1.3 megapixels. Because this photograph represents the image in true color, the image data associates three numbers for each pixel. Those numbers are the relative intensities for red, green, and blue light. If we zoom on the region near the fly's head, for instance, We can examine the values associated with individual pixels. Here are the red, green, and blue values for the pixel at the 714th column and the 415th row. For this image, the RGB values are numbers between 0 and 255. 0 associates no intensity with a particular color whereas 255 associates the maximum intensity. For this particular pixel, the red intensity is 161, the green is 149, and the blue is 169. Now let's zoom back out and see what happens when we isolate the red, green, and blue components of this image. The red image shows the amount of red light at each location. The green image shows the amount of green light. And the blue image shows the amount of blue light. 
Because the human eye is more sensitive to green light than it is to red or blue, it's common for the green image to reveal the most detail. And that's a brief introduction to digital images. Each pixel in a true color image like this one encodes an intensity level for red, green, and blue light. Each pixel in a false color image like this one encodes a physical quantity, elevation for this example, that is mapped to a color for viewing.